Hey folks, Sermon Trader here. Hopefully a quick one today. And I had a chart analysis request for Physiomics. It's not a, a stock that I, I actually hold myself. And uh, it's always nice to look at uh, a new chart with fresh eyes and uh, no um, predetermined biases. Kind of funny because I was originally inspired to make YouTube videos by a Mr. Zach Mir from the Bulletin Board Heroes, you might have seen it. And uh, if I was to start getting lots of chart requests, I would maybe do a little round robin like he does. Um, anyway, let's have a quick look at this chart. And as you can see, I've got it on a full weekly here. It's on a, a logarithmic chart. If you want to look at it on uh, an arithmetic chart or arithmetic, if, uh, however you pronounce it. Uh, yeah, it looks... Uh, pretty useless it just started here and it's all the way down here and on the logarithmic you can see how high it started it's obviously in the downtrend not so pronounced on the logarithmic chart uh, but you can see, still see these um, extremes on the, the chart now looking on this chart the first thing that really jumped out at me was this area of support around Five to five point two, and uh, you can see it breaks through, but there's always a retest. So it's come through here, it's retested up here, it's been found uh, resistance along there, it's come down, it absolutely blew through it this week. But you can see on the second week it retested and found support again, and as it did on preceding weeks around here again fell through again but all along here you've got the level being tested as resistance and then it blew through back up through it around here and uh, actually found support several times since then so we'll zoom in a little bit so this is the weekly just zoomed in a little bit and you can see where it completely pierced through that area so uh, that would be resistance in this area um, on the, this week back in April uh, 2020. I uh, didn't really pay much respect around there, to be honest. Sort of pierced through it, bounced back down, then worked its way through. Then it found support. Found support around that area again and hasn't really hit it apart from this most recent week where, again, it's, it seems to have found support. So I actually think that this area around here is going to be um, of some importance to what the price will do in um, the next week or two. So in on a daily and you can see the um, last two days, uh, two days ago it actually gapped down and rallied from sells off uh, a little bit. Next day gap down did not wasn't able to hit the, the previous high or the previous day and um, it's really looking like this area is support I would be actually biased to buying here with a target price of around that 7.2p or if it was to break through there you've got a slightly higher target around 9 pence um, obviously a breakdown here could result in this becoming um, a great deal of resistance and certainly lower prices. On a fundamental perspective of this company, um, they've got about a million in cash, uh, market caps around five million. The morning star valuation is around uh, 10.5p, which would go with uh, along with the higher target that, that the chart is kind of indicating is a possibility. And uh, market cap, yeah, 5.2 million. I said they had a million in cash. I did do a bit of a, a fair value analysis on it. Um, but they, they've not made any profit um, ever, as far as I can see. And uh, debt-wise, no debt to speak of. So, um, yeah, I suppose it's a small company, small, super speculative. Take from that what you will. Obviously, nothing said here is investment advice. If you did get anything from the video, if it wasn't absolutely awful, then please smash the like button. 
and uh, I'll see you in another video. Arithmetic, arithmetic. <laughs>